Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video I am going to be going through my blushes, bronzers and highlighters and decluttering some things. When I first got into makeup, I definitely went through a phase of buying a lot. I have realized a couple of years later that I'm just not using it all and I think it's been a good lesson that although I do love trying new makeup, I don't really need to just buy everything, you know? So I do have some products in my drawers that I know I don't use, I know I'm not going to use. So I just wanna go through everything, talk it through with you and declutter some stuff. If you are into organizing and decluttering makeup videos, I do have an entire playlist that I will link down below. I will also link the makeup tutorial for this look. All right, welcome to the floor and my Alex drawers. Let's get into the first one. So this drawer I have, powders and bronzers. I just want to focus on the bronzers for today. So, okay, <laughs> let's start over here. I have a few cream and liquid products. I definitely know I want to get rid of these Rimmel contouring sticks because the shades are just not suitable for me. These are the shades and they're just far too warm for my liking. The other side does have highlighting sticks, which I do like and I think is the reason that I've kept them, but I never ever dip into them. So what's the point in keeping them? These can go. This is a, another liquid contouring and highlighting product. I really like this shade, so I'm going to keep that. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. It is quite a warm shade, but I do enjoy using it for a light bronzer if I'm after a cream or liquid product. And then this one here is by ColourPop. I love this shade. It is perfect for contouring on fair skin. So I'm going to keep that one as well. Next, I have the Models Prefer Natural Glow Bronzer. This one is quite new to my collection and I am enjoying it. So I'm going to keep that. The Napoleon Purtis Bronzer was the first bronzer that I ever bought. I really don't dip into it, but I don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> It's kind of like a sentimental item. Next, I have the Maybelline City Bronzer. I recently purchased a new shade in this one, a deeper shade, because this one does pull quite orange on me. So I am going to get rid of this, but not until I try the new one, because I want to compare them in a video for you guys. Next, I have two of the designer brands Get Glowing Bronzers. Now, one of them is matte. This one here, I'm going to keep this because it is a beautiful shade for fair skin, but I think I'm going to get rid of this one in the shade Miami Heat because it is a shimmery shade and I just don't dip into it very often. It's got a lot of gold shimmer in it. This is what it looks like swatched. As you can see, it's a very glowy. It could almost be a highlighter. So that's that's gone. Next, I have the Benefit Hula Light. This is an amazing bronzer. I'll be keeping that. I'll also be keeping my Becca Sunlit Bronzer, although I am nearly out. Like, how good is that? I'll be keeping both of my Fenty bronzers, the cream and the powder. I love these. Now, my NARS bronzer. I didn't speak about this when I showed you guys my whole bronzer and contour collection in a video recently, but look. I think truth be told, I'm not going to use the rest of it. And this packaging is just sticky and gross. I think the time has come to say goodbye. This is a really nice bronzer though. It's a bit of a deeper shade for fair skin, but it can still work. And it does have a bit of a sheen to it. So it looked beautiful on the skin, but let's be real. I'm just never gonna get into that. It is so sticky. Hiding up the back, I have the Essence Contouring Duo. I'm definitely going to be keeping this. It is quite new to my collection and I love the two shades in this palette. A really nice formula as well. Next, I have these Too Faced bronzers. This mini here is a deeper shade. It's the medium deep. And this is the Milk Chocolate Light Medium shade. I think I'm just not into this bronzer anymore. It feels a little dry. The shade is a little orange on me. I think I might get rid of it. Who would have thought? I just don't reach for it anymore. So let's say goodbye to those. 
Actually, I might just keep this one because sometimes when I do my family's makeup, like my mum or my sisters, they are deeper than me. So this is good to use on them. So I'll just keep that shoved up the back there. Next, I have the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This, again, I just... I feel like it pulls a little orange on me. Although I do love the formula of this. It is so buttery, kind of creamy. It looks beautiful on the skin, but I don't think the shade is a perfect match. I might actually put this in my to test out pile and then I'll make a decision from there. Next, I have this model's own Sculpt and Glow bronzer. I think I bought this when Models Own first come to Priceline and I was testing out a few products. Models Own has gone now. I don't know where it's gone, but it's not a Priceline anymore. But I'm going to get rid of this one. It's quite deep for my skin tone and I just never get into it. Next, I have this ColourPop Pressed Bronzer in the shade Private Party. This is another one that I don't really dip into. It is rather deep. Oh, it actually feels quite nice. Oh, it actually has a bit of a sheen to the finish. Look, it has been a while since I dipped into this. The colour I'm a little unsure of, so I might put that into my to try pile. Next, I have this ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Paradise Cove. I've actually been dipping into this a bit lately and it is so beautiful. What is this texture? It's not a cream, but it's not a powder. Like, I just don't know, but it is a beautiful bronzer and I love the sheen that it gives to the skin. So I'm going to be keeping that one. Next, I have some contouring products. I'm definitely going to be keeping this MAC Blush. It is a beautiful shade for contouring, as well as this eyeshadow by Illamasqua. For drugstore options, I have this eyeshadow by Rimmel. I'm going to be keeping this one. And then I'm going to be decluttering this one here by NYX. This is a blush in the shade Taupe, and I just find it's a bit too deep and cool toned. You do have to be very careful when you're using it, and I do reach for these ones over this, so I'll be getting rid of that. Actually, maybe I could use that as an eyeshadow. Look, I'm going to put that in the to try pile. All right, well, that's it for bronzers. I've got these three in the to try pile, and then I'll be getting rid of the model's own bronzer, the NARS, the designer brands Get Glowing, the Too Faced Milk Chocolate, and these Rimmel contouring sticks. Pretty good. All right, let me just clean this out and reorganize it now. All right, now into the highlighter and blush drawer. Okay, Whew, let's start down here. I have three highlighters by Makeup Geek and I don't even know if they make these anymore. The first shade here is Celestial. This is like a purple toned highlighter. I never use this. I don't think I'm ever going to use it again. So that can go. This shade Glitz is very pink. So if you're cool toned, this could be a good shade for you, but I find it's a bit too icy on me. So I'm going to get rid of it, that one as well. And then this shade here, I'm pretty sure it's called Lit, <laughs> but this was my favorite. So it has a bit of a yellow, kind of pale gold tone to it. This works really well on my skin tone. I am going to keep it even though I'll just check if they still sell them. All right, so I've just gone onto the website and they do still sell a few highlighters. The only shade they have that I have is Glitz, which is the pinky shade. Next, I have one by Model Zone. Again, this is the same brand as that bronzer I was talking about. This is a very pink toned highlighter, so something that I don't dip into very often. So I'm going to get rid of this one as well. Next, I have two here by ColourPop. This is the shade Civil Play, which is, oh, wow, can we just talk about my French there for a minute as well? <laughs> but as you can see, this is a white highlighter. 
I haven't dipped into this in a really long time. The white is just a bit too stark for me though. If you watched my recent favorite highlighters for fair skin, then you will know what I'm really into. And this just isn't it. So that can go. And then the other shade, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this was a deeper shade. Let me swatch it. I think I might put this into my to try pile because I really can't remember what the formula looks like once on the face. So next I have this L'Oreal True Match highlighter. This one has three different shades in it. To be honest, I can't even remember the last time I reached for this. And as you can see, it's very pink toned. So not something that I love. So I'm going to be getting rid of that one. All right, next I have a few by Essence. This is the So Glow Cream to Powder Highlighter. And this actually looks really pretty on the skin from memory. It is very white though, which has me worried. But I do remember tapping it onto my cheekbones and it was quite nice. Oh, I have a feeling it could be a bit too bright and stark for me, but I'm going to put that into my to try pile because I do love a cream highlighter lately. Next, I have this one just called The Highlighter, and it is a really nice light gold shade, but from memory, it fades pretty quickly on the skin, like it doesn't last. Mm, yeah, I think I might get rid of that one. My thought process though is like, what if I'm doing a video about affordable products and I need this for that video. But in the same breath, I only wanna be recommending products that I really actually enjoy. So I think, I think this one can go. And then I have one of the My Must Haves eyeshadows. This is in the shade Apricotta and these are so much better than the actual highlighter. It has a rather metallic finish and it lasts on the skin. So I would definitely recommend this over the highlighter, so I'll be keeping that one. Next, I have the Revolution Pro Skin Finish in Opalescent, and I recently dipped into this again, knowing I was going to be doing a declutter, and oh my God, this is beautiful. When I first bought it, I didn't really enjoy it, and I think it is because it's more of a subtle highlight, and at the time, I was going for like bold and metallic but this looks so lovely on the skin and it is a beautiful shade. So I'm definitely going to be keeping that one. Next, I have this BYS Diamond Highlighter. I do really like the shade of this. It's quite a yellow gold. I can't really remember. Ooh, it feels quite creamy. Can't really remember how it looks on the skin. Quite a nice shade. I think I might put this in the to try pile because I'm quite unsure about that one. Next, I have this Baked Highlighter by Savvy. I have really been enjoying this lately. It's quite new to my collection, so I'll be keeping that. Same with the Revlon Skin Lights Highlighter. This is such a beautiful formula. I am so impressed with this from the drugstore, and look at that pattern. It is so pretty. The gold is rather deep, so if you're as fair as me, go in with a really light hand, but it's a beautiful formula. Next, I have the Instant Glow Powder by Milani. Firstly, it is a rather pink shade, so that's got me thinking I don't want it. Ooh, it looks quite powdery from my finger swatch. Yeah, look, I'm not liking how that is swatching. I haven't used this in a really long time. I'm leaning towards get rid of it, but I just want to try it one more time. So we'll see. All right, then back here, I have this Flower Beauty Chubby Stick. It looks so damn manky, but I really love this. And that is seriously all that I have left. So I think I might just try and use that up. Next, I have this Jeffree Star Liquid Frost Highlighter. Now this was given to me as a gift. I'm really not a Jeffree Star fan. I don't know who is these days, but I don't want to get rid of it because it was a gift and it is really pretty. It is white though, so very, very bright and stark. Let me just, yeah, look, to be honest, I think it is a little bright for me. And if I'm after something glittery like this, I think I would rather go for my Fenty Beauty highlighter. So I might get rid of this one. 
Sorry, Jess. <laughs> Next, I have this Flower Beauty Highlighting Trio. Now, I did use this recently and it was really beautiful. So this is the shade I used. These two don't really work for me, but I am going to keep it for this shade because it's a nice formula and I'm pretty sure this palette is only like $10, so it's very affordable. And then next to that, I have this Barry M Cosmic Lights palette. Now, I'm pretty sure this was sent to me in PR, but the only shade out of this that I use is this gold shade. And I just don't know if it's worth keeping for the one shade. These shades here, not my favorite. This shade is too dark. This was a very nice product, but I just don't think it's worth keeping for that one shade. So I think I'll get rid of this one. And then in the middle here, I've got my two by Mecca that I love. So I'm definitely going to be keeping those. I also have my Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand that I recently picked up. It is beautiful. I'll be keeping that. And then I've got this Models Prefer Luminous Luxe Highlighter. This one is quite new to my collection. I feel as though I was a little bit torn with this. It does feel a bit dry, but then once you swatch it, it looks very pretty. I think I might put this in my to try pile. And then I have this e.l.f. Jelly Highlighter in the shade Bubbly. Now, I'm pretty sure I used this once for a video and I've never touched it again. It's a very interesting um, product. Where can I safely sit that? Oof, that is very, very metallic. It's not showing up that well on camera, but on my hand, it is a bit of a deeper shade. Mm, I do love a liquid highlighter though. Look, I'm gonna put this in my to try pile because I'm very, very unsure about it. It might be a bit too metallic for my liking. All right, lightning round. I'm going to be keeping my Fenty Beauty Duo Highlighter. I'll definitely be keeping my MAC Double Gleam. Same with MAC Light Scapade. The Becca Highlighters, I'm going to be keeping Moonstone, which is this one here. It's more of a gold shade, but I will be getting rid of Becca Pearl because it is bright white and it's just a bit too much. I haven't reached for it in so long. I'll be keeping my Fenty Beauty How Many Carrots. I'll also be keeping this one here by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't think they've sold these for years, but this is in the shade Starlight and it is the most beautiful highlighter. I haven't touched it in a while because I don't wanna use it on my channel because it's not available and I just don't want to use it all because it's so pretty. <laughs> but I wish they created these instead of their highlighting palettes because as someone who has very fair skin, I'm very particular with shades and not a variety of shades work for me. So I never purchase the highlighting palettes because I'm not going to get use out of them. I prefer to purchase a single highlighter with a shade that I know I'm going to love and use. But anyway, I'll be keeping that. I'll be keeping my Too Faced Love Light highlighter and I'll also be keeping my Balm Mary Luminizer because this is just a classic. All right, I think I did pretty well for highlighters. So I have a total of six here that I want to try and then I will make a decision on whether I keep them or not. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine highlighting products that I'm getting rid of. Oh my God, I did so well just then. Okay, I think back here is a variety of palettes. So let's see. This is the Rimmel Trio. This is an absolute classic, so I'll be keeping this. I should actually pull it out and dip back into it because it's been a while. I think I'll put it in this drawer up here. Um, this here is the designer brand's Rosy Glow Blush and Highlighter Duo. I haven't dipped into this in a while. I think I'll put this in my to try pile. This is the designer brand's On The Go palette. This one I don't know where to store because it's got eyeshadows, bronzer, blush, and highlight. What category do I put this in? This is an organizer's nightmare. <laughs> I'm going to keep this. I do really enjoy this palette and look, I'll just keep it back here because I don't know where to put it. <laughs> Next is the Revlon Sculpt and Highlight Contour Kit. This is a classic. I absolutely love this contour and this bronzing shade. So I'm going to be keeping this. 
And then I have this Maybelline Master Bronze. I think I'm going to get rid of this. I don't dip into it. And really the only shade that worked for me was this one down here because it is more cool toned. So I think I will say goodbye. All right, next I have the Astralis Strawberries and Dream Blush. I did try this recently in a full face of Astralis video and I have tested it out since and I just don't think it's for me. I felt like it was a little bit patchy on my skin. Although I do like the shade, it's quite bright, but I think I'll get rid of this one. Next I have this Folklore Beauty Blush. This is a ombre blush. I really like it, so I'm going to be keeping that one. Next, I have this BYS Marble Blush. It is quite a deep shade, but from memory, I think I liked it. So I might put this in the to try pile. Next, I have these two by Designer Brands, the Make and Blush blushes. Now these are very, very shimmery, so I don't like to use them as a blush on their own, but they do make a really nice blush topper. I don't think I need both, so I'll get rid of one. Let me check the shades out. After swatching them, I think I'm going to keep this shade here, which is Rose Glow, and then I'll get rid of this one here. I'll be keeping these two, my Fenty Cream Blush and my Savvy. This one is almost done. I go through this so quickly, obviously because it's small and I just freaking love it. I'll be keeping both of these blushes, the Essence Matte Touch Blush and the Maybelline fit me. I have some liquid blushes here that I have been absolutely loving, so I'll be keeping all four of those. Next, I have these two Love Flush blushes by Too Faced. These are actually quite nice. I just don't think you need to buy a high-end blush though, because you can get really nice affordable ones. I do really like both these shades, so I'm going to keep these. Next, I have two by Milani. I've had these in my collection for a while. Milani did recently come to Priceline here in Australia though. This shade Luminoso is absolutely beautiful. I'll definitely be keeping that. This shade Berry Amore, I don't dip into that often, but I think I'm going to keep it because again, it's a really nice blush shade for my mum and my sisters if I do their makeup. It does work for me as well, but I just don't dip into it that often, but I'm going to keep it. Then I have this Savvy Highlighting and Blush Duo. I will definitely be keeping this one. And then these two here, I think, can go into the to try pile. I've got this BYS Blusher in the shade Rose Quartz. It is quite bright. Actually, I might just get rid of that one because that shade is a bit too pink for me. And then this one is the OXX Studio from Kmart. And I'm pretty sure I really like this shade. Let me just give it a swatch. It's quite a baby pink. I think I'm going to keep that one because it has a really nice sheen to it as well. Okay, so for that category, I'm going to be trying out the designer brands and the BYS blush. And I'm going to be getting rid of this bronzer palette, Astralis designer brands and a BYS blush. All right, so I've just got this little box here that I'm going to put my to try products in so that I can get into them over the next week or so. And if you are interested in seeing an updates video, just let me know. All right, well, that is all for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. My next decluttering video is going to be my foundations, concealers, and primers. So stay tuned for that. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're having a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.